I do. I went down hard. Yeah. So good morning everyone and welcome to day three of our Gari Fraser Island Adventure Ride. So we've woken up a little bit later this morning but we're getting all the gear packed back onto the bikes. And we were planning to stay an extra day here but we ended up deciding we might start heading home but we still have a really big ride ahead of us today but we'll start making our way back to Inskip Ferry but to do so we're going to go through all the internal tracks here on the island which should be hard so we're not just riding right on the beach. But yeah, the, yesterday and the day before definitely knocked us around and we're really buggered, but we're loving it so far. And hopefully we're getting a little bit better at the sand. I'm not too sure about that one, saying we're consistent with the dropping of the bikes, but we're still having an amazing time so far. But yeah, so we'll see how far we can get today. Hopefully we can make it all the way home. So we're just leaving Kingfisher Bay now and we had it a little bit easier yesterday leaving because it did rain a little bit the night before but it did not rain last night so it is a bit of a struggle. Oh here comes a car the other way, you have to work out how to get up but it is definitely some hard work because you don't really get a break from fighting the sand a bit. So you kind of just have to go along with it. But yeah, this track leaving Kingfisher Bay now, way longer than I remembered it. Because last night I did take the short cup up top, but I found that a bit harder than the sand actually. But, oh, here comes a car. It's always hard. And there's a car coming. Oh, thank you guys. when people are nice and move over. I always get a bit nervous when I have to try and find a way over. All right, that's how I end up falling off. They took the shortcut out of the sand. So they're gonna meet me in about 200 meters. I'm gonna take a right here towards Central Station. So I'll see how far it is till I meet up with them. So I'm just stopped at the intersection where I'm meant to meet mum and dad. They haven't turned up just yet, but hopefully I'm in the right spot. Well, I only had really one spot to go anyway. But wow, today is definitely, every day just keeps getting harder and harder. But yeah, it feels like the sand has dried up 10 times more. It's probably just because we're so tired, but oh my goodness. Oh, here comes a car behind me. I better get out of the way. But yeah, oh my goodness, absolutely wrecked. And we're only, what, 5K in? But anyway, we'll see how we go. They still haven't turned up yet, which I've been waiting here for a while. So hopefully there has not been another fall, but we could feel, yeah, a whole video with just us falling. Cause that I've fallen probably about four times today. Oh no, here comes another car. I just can't escape. Hey Ramsa. Wow, it's just nuts. Luckily we didn't run into the, all these guys on a skinnier track. They're still coming. It's so hard because we've had to pull off like every, every 100 meters or so. We're pulling off for a car coming the other way. And it's always the most inconvenient spot where you run into another car. You never seem to do it in an easy spot. But wow, I can appreciate how much prettier it is now. On the first day we are coming, by this point I was just so tired that I wasn't even looking around much, but it's so pretty now. So 
at this point we had been riding for almost two hours and we had only covered around 25 kilometers. The sandy track definitely made for slow traveling and we were getting more exhausted by the minute. We still had around 23 kilometers to go until we reached Dilly Village where the entrance was to get back onto the main beach where we could make our way back to Inskip Ferret. We might need to pull it around. No, once it gets on the dip, hopefully. There's a big log there. I don't worry about that now. Just wait, I've got to get a grip. One, two, three. I'll get over it. Oh. Back into the thick white sand. I was like, oh, maybe it's going to be harder packed, but. I guess I was wrong. But anyway. Oh, there's a lake beside me and I can't even look at it. I gotta kinda keep focus, otherwise I'm over. That's, that's kinda what happens if you lose focus for a second on the, these tracks you're done. So I think we're about six kilometers out from Dilly Village. So that's where we're heading to like get onto the beach there so not too much further but this track has been way harder than we expected it to be it's been 95 percent thick white sand a lot of paddling yeah it's been really hard and it's pretty hard because it's out in the sun so hopefully it does get a bit harder in the last six kilometers the sand but anyway we'll see how we go it's been really good so far though not too many cars that we've passed, but anyway, I'm just waiting for the parents behind me and hopefully they turn up soon. Oh. 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 That hurt. I hit that handlebar. I do. I went down hard. Yeah. 800 meters off Eastern Beach now. I'll tell you what, I'm quite, I was quite relieved to see that sign. It was getting to the point I was like, that was the longest 23 kilometers ever of that track. Just, it was a lot of paddling, stopping, a hot sun. But anyway, I'm keen to see the beach again. Oh, that's a relief, seeing water. Wow, that was a lot of effort to get to here. Here we go. Haven't done one of these today yet. I don't think I got enough momentum up there. Looks like Dad's got stuck. Here he comes. Woohoo! We're back out on the beach. It was a big day to get just to the ferry, but we're still not done yet. So we're gonna stop at Rainbow Beach just for a quick lunch bake. And then we'll head on to Kalula Way and make our way home. So there's still a lot of track left to go, but hopefully the majority of the hard sand is done, except for that part to get over Inskip Point there.
but it doesn't look as busy as before so hopefully if we do fall it's not in front of a big audience We're on. It's nice to feel some flat ground beneath us instead of sand. A shady spot. Perfect. Woo! Alrighty, we're just getting off the ferry now to Imskip Point. So this shall be interesting. We, we had a lot of trouble with this at the beginning, but I'm hoping that it feels a lot better after doing a lot of more sand riding over on the island so I'm hoping it's worse in memory bit more touch wood I definitely did not find it as bad that time as compared to when we're heading over and I don't know if that's just because it got easier or that I just got a bit more practice in the sand oh no now that I say that I almost went over oh she made it too awesome well hopefully that's the hardest of the sand done that's exciting. So, so far we've done 85 kilometers today and it's about two o'clock now, I think. So it's been a pretty big day so far, but we still got to do Kalula Way before we can get home. arrived home an afternoon three of our Fraser Island trip and we are beyond buggered. I've never been so tired after a ride ever in my life and not even the Cape got me this tired I can say that but it was 500 kilometers in pretty much all of it in thick white sand so I say it was a pretty good effort on our part and we had an absolute ball we loved it. The adventure bikes held up really well in the sand and yeah, we're amazed how much fun we had and we can't wait to do more trips like it.